Now, what you need to do if you don't want to import a JITCOM file into your current database is create a new database. So I'm going to go up here to New File. Oh, yep, there we go. To New File. And I'm going to choose this option down here, Import from Another Program. And it's going to give me several different formats. Um, uh, Ancestral Quest or Path uh, being the standard one, um, but obviously a different program, Legacy, accepts a JEDCOM. So that's what I've got selected now. Uh, I know where the file is stored on my computer, hopefully. Uh, so I'm going to select that option. Okay, here it is. It's under my Roots Media folder. And uh, this is the file that I downloaded. Uh, I guess I downloaded on Monday. And uh, selected the file. Uh, now, Legacy is asking me uh, for a name for the file, um, so it's the new database, and I'm just going to go with the default, and it should pop up here. Okay, it popped up on the other screen. Let me drag this over so you can see it. It has read in the file to get a feel for what's in it first. So if you look over here on the left-hand side, you'll see that this particular file has 3,100 73 individuals in it and that that's correct and you'll see that that's consistent with other programs that we're going to be working with it has 886 families so relationships between the uh, 3,000 people and it has 627 sources and I'm going to start the import now as it's importing something may pop up on the other screen and I'll try and, and get it back to the screen I'm recording uh, as quickly as possible and here we have a status. Uh, it imported 3,173, 886 families, 627 sources. It counted the citation as 15,128. It also included 477 media links. However, I did not download the media files, so that's a topic for another day. 2,615 events births, deaths, marriages, etc. I will tell you that that's, um, that's accurate. That's what's in that file. Le Legacy did a fairly good job of being able to talk to um, all, uh, talk with all the JEDCOM data that was in there. Now it says some information was not recognized and it wants to know if I want to view the error log. I do. Uh, I like to see what it had trouble with. And we're not going to look at uh, all of this. Uh, the first one uh, is it had trouble reading some comment data that it thought was uh, put in the gender or sex field as it's called in the JEDCOM uh, for my wife. And that data really has nothing to do with her, with her sex, so I don't care about that. That is some data that's going to be lost, but I, I really don't care about that specific data. But you need to be aware that when you do a JEDCOM import from one program to another, there is high likelihood you're going to lose some data. It may or may not be data that you care about. And so you always want to look for one of these logs after you've done an import to see what data it skipped. Now, there was a couple more at the end. Yeah, so the individual shown on the right in a marriage has a gender male. That's just a warning it's giving me. I must have put the mail on the one on the wrong side as far as um, this is concerned I don't care about that that doesn't matter to me but did a fairly good job of, of importing all of the data and the one thing I will look at I, I'm not going to look at every single piece of data obviously I am going to try and pull up a list of sources to see what that list looks like we go view master list source here you can see some various source records and what they look like. Source records are some of the messiest ones to import. And the reason is, is that none of the programs, and I can almost say that with 100% accuracy, none of the programs export sources in the exact same way. And the JEDCOM file is very poorly designed for source citations. 
In its source list, it says 590. Now, we know it was 886. So it must have auto-merged duplicate source records as it did the import. <laughs>